11 was very disappointing after that, obviously. 12 through 17, the university was sensitive, caring, intelligent ones. I was actually speaking a bit of a low patch. 18 broke my heart. Years of learning. I'm sorry? 20. Oh, oh my god, I can't believe I've reached 20. <laughs> 21, Alpha Town. 22, kept me in sleep. That was my first year in England. Oh, I do apologize. <laughs> 23 and 24 together. Now that was something. Seriously? <laughs> yes. uh, 27. Oh, no, that was a mistake. Suddenly at 27 you're making mistakes? Yes, he kept screaming. Put me up right off. Oh, we have the snow cap. If the weather breaks, we could try and get down the mountain in that. Bring the forest ranger first and, and tell them we're coming down so if we don't, they could start searching for us in case we don't make it. If Jack won't come with us then we just have to tell him we're going down on our own. And that's all there is to it. I think we should discuss Danny. I think we should discuss what should be done with him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. You know, every story, every wound, every memory, their whole life happiness is, is wrapped up in you. Every single moment. Don't you get it? Look down the road at her wedding day. I'm in a room alone with her, fitting her vow, fluffing her dress and telling her that no woman has looked that beautiful. And my fear is that she'll be thinking, I wish my mum was here. I mind as she won't. South Australia, affectionately known as the driest state in the country, is often knocked for being behind the times and is well renowned for its half hour traffic jam. But the biggest problem facing us South Aussies is knowing where to go to quench our terribly parched thirst. Should we head to the Barossa for a cracking Shiraz, Adelaide Hills for a crisp white wine, or McLaren Vale for an exotic red blend? And all within a 45 minute drive of the city.